Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play QB Factorium. Although this Let's Play series has ended, but the game has been recently released on Steam, 16 December 2021, and it's no longer early access. There's been some changes, some additions, fixes, and improvements, such as dialogues being added to the campaign. But are we going to play through the campaign again? No. Instead, we're going to use our experience to try and make it an easier time for us in the custom map. Firstly, you'll see all these things. <laughs> we're gonna select this one, all the biomes, and then you see this question mark is actually stranded colonists. So we'll increase that to 5. Give us a lot of people, and also reveal map, and stranded goods. I believe this is where other players leave us items, random items, or could just be the colonists. Regardless, let's find out what they are. Like, we'll see if there's any difference, but we're not gonna give us any beneficial cargoes. Let's see how fast we can complete the island. I'm hoping 250 in-game days, that's a quarter of a thousand. I think Waltrot had a lot of days spent on that. Well, anyways, <laughs> we start with 22 people. And an oil patch. Speed that up, that's for sure. Build- ah, we can build a lot of things already. That's great, we can automate certain things already. Yeah, why not? Start with a power plant. In fact, we can start with a few power plants. To ensure that our power supply is good. Right? Can we build lanterns? Do we have enough for lanterns or we don't? Okay, we can't build these because we do not have the resources for these things. So bonfire. Oh, more oil. Ah, definitely enough for a good power supply. Yeah, we can use these. Do we have more oil? Let's see. Let's see what are the resources we have. Are we going to buy out the enemy land? Perhaps. Yet perhaps not. Okay, we have got more oil wells over there. Even more oil. Definitely usable. Okay, these things for... I don't know. For power. Okay, these are not oil. Good. Okay. They got these things done. Uh, where should we build it? Nothing? We have no more resources? What do we need for them? Bricks. Oh, okay. Bricks, I see. So we made a mistake. Not these. Yeah. <laughs> Experience, huh? It's this one. We're supposed to use this. Build these. Go on. Expand our borders. And then we'll need to get some of these workshops. So let's mine out all these things. And then we'll have some storage spaces. This for wood. For stones. And then we're gonna have these workplaces. Actually, they should be close by, but whatever. They can walk a little bit, it's fine. Stone blocks. Put these here. Stone blocks will be applied to here, and then shift, right click, and then left click to apply to everything. Then, wooden board, apply to here, shift, and apply everything so they all link like that. And then, stone blank to here, apply to everything, wooden part to here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wooden part. Finally, 
wouldn't handle. Uh oh. No, not like that. Uh, this is not needed, so we'll just remove it. We need a lot more for this one, and this one. Not this one, but this one. No, it wouldn't handle. No, it wouldn't part, I think. Wouldn't part. Yeah, wouldn't part. This is not so much. Wouldn't handle. No need for that much. But we'll need a lot of wood, though. So it's time to expand our borders even further. And then hopefully get more recruits. We currently have 22. Let's not care about water and food, okay? Because the penalty will always be there. And if we have to keep on worrying about those things, we'll never really make any progress. So, yeah, we know that water and food will not really matter too much. It's just a negative 25% movement speed. That's something we can absorb. And we know that we want them to produce these items as soon as possible. So just have a lot of these producing the items. Anything else not stored? Bricks. You... here. We've got wheat and flowers. And then we got textile and other things. We'll handle the storage as we go along. But we'll need tool workshops soon. Copper tool workshops, uh, copper ingots, okay, stone tool workshops. Oh, we have this one here. Move it by one. Can we have, uh, like that? So it's like 12 buildings each. Can we, can we, yeah, please. Okay, thank you. Please tear that down. I don't know if 12, I don't know if 12 buildings too much though. I think it might be too much. Okay, fine. Don't, don't, don't. Six will do. Let's not overproduce the tools. I think six might be enough for now, like that. No, hang on. Stone hammer. And then apply to all so they can all produce stone hammer. Pickaxe. Uh oh. Yeah, stone hammer, pickaxe. Okay, then apply to all. Shovel. Apply to all. And then also, the priority has been shifted to here. So if we want priority, we need to set from there. For the enemy camps, I don't know if I want to buy or just combat. Could be purchase, could be combat, we'll see. Then again, combat requires a lot of wooden parts for the robots, right? So that wouldn't be good. Can we build a port yet? A wooden part, not yet. Well, the difference in huge map is that these things aren't really unlocked right from the get-go. So we'll have to unlock them as we go along, which will be kind of cool too. But then again, it also affects like planning and whatnot. Okay, we don't want them to be this busy with mining. 
so we still want to manage our task assignments in order to be as efficient as possible. More rocks here. There's a few more things around here. So these tools, they need to make them. So maybe we should stop them from going here and they can work on the tools. Now we can see the colonist management. Some of these are just like power and logistics. So we want them to do crafting and mining at least. Like, okay, maybe these will not have mining. Those that have only power and logistics, they will do mining. This one's construction, so you can do a bit of mining to... I mean, no, uh, crafting. Yeah, okay, the rest are fine. So, craft all these. We have wooden parts now, so we can set up a port. Uh, we'll put it here. Hey. Oh, that's because we don't have the coverage. No, 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 you know what? Forget it. I don't want to get the coverage right now. Doesn't matter. You just put it here. It's very close to the edge of the map. That gives us more bandwidth, I think. So we'll export some of these things, I suppose. But we don't have a quarry. Until we have a quarry, we can't really afford to export too much. And we'll depend on the wood and whatnot that we get from the map. So I'll click mining in order to mine these things. Wait, why is this not? Oh, never mind. Don't have a lot of space to store those stones. Or rocks. Do we have tools yet? Has anyone been making tools yet? No, not exactly. You just build a port just in case, okay? These will give us quite a lot of new resources. Specifically the ores. And we can start making copper tools. Because we've got copper. So, get the kiln. Like that, I think that'd be fine. This is going to be brick. No, actually brick might just be, yeah, it's fine. We'll manage it through the amount of space we give them, okay? Instead of like, oh, okay, you make this, you make that. All of them get to make something. It's whether we have enough storage space for them. If we don't, they just don't get manufactured. Yeah, so these things are really cool. We have a lot of them working on the items, so it's much easier. So what if there's a penalty on the movement speed? I think it's so much better. We don't want to plant tomatoes and whatnot. It's fine, we don't need these either. Recommendation, set up horse station. It might be useful, but for now, it's okay. What do we need for these? Someone please do construction work for me. Okay, there it is. So once we get bricks, we'll be able to buy out this piece of land to give us more colonists. I wonder how many are here. I see one and two. We have 22. So let's see if we get a lot more. There's a lot of idle people. Why are they not constructing? They should help with construction. Don't idle, just help with construction work, if anything. There we go, just help. If I were to auto-assign... Oh, okay. <laughs> 
actually automatically assigned it's still construction for everyone so that's good no one's gonna do this okay anyways we gotta move on uh no more mining please or as few as possible we've got some of these ores hanging around which we'll need to use like maybe here the smelters will go here Uh, we'll have six for now. Like that. Hopper. Iron. Uh oh. Iron, click on here, and then gold. That applies to everything. We have a storage for these ores. So the ores can be stored there. Someone please make these things. And bricks, please. We're running out of wood. We definitely need more wood, so let's mine the wood. Oh, okay, some of these spaces are not ours. So we'll have to get the bricks without... Oh no, that's bad. They're not working on these things, though. Can we set up to high priority? Yeah, okay, set it to high priority. Let's see. High priority would be three arrows here, okay? Yeah, they start. Good. Which is like charcoal. Now they're gonna work on this. Once it's okay, we're gonna set it to low priority again. Because these things will run out. And then we'll run out of wood again. We don't really have a lot of trees to work with, huh? So maybe we'll need some groves to temporarily help us with the tree supply. We don't want to import. We don't want to wait for more biomes for the trees. Oak trees. Yeah, just plant the trees and give us wood. Okay, we got bricks. Uh, what's it for? No, yikes. Can't get more colonists. We know that two more will join us, I think. Is is it two more? Why are these two not doing anything? Can you do mining at least? Or maybe... Yeah, because power isn't that important. Maybe don't generate power. Because eventually it will just be automated, right? Yeah, you can do that in this one. Idling. Not power, but maybe these... Oh, you know what? Forget it. Power. Come on, give me more of these bricks. Don't make any ingots for now, because I want to get more of these places here. One more brick, please. Yeah, okay, good. Let's buy the land. We have 24. That's bad. That's real bad. Like, why are we not getting more people? What about stranded resources and whatnot? Pasture animals. <laughs> Can we hire anyone or anything? I don't know. Stranded materials. What do you mean stranded materials or stranded? That was like stranded goods or stranded something. Fabric. Ah, yikes. We need fabric. Okay, sure, sure, sure. No problem. Let's do a pasture here. And then this one and then fabric textile workplace uh no that's wool sheep yeah meanwhile fabric is supposed to be here
Yeah, okay. Let's just mine out a few. Don't overwhelm our colonists. We don't have a lot of wood now. It's gone, actually. Like, gone. And then these colonists, if they're idling, that's not good. Okay? Just no idling. Hmm. Yeah, construction work too. These are new joiners, I think. Okay, just mine out some of these so that we have more to work with. Those things, we need the textile. We have a bit of textile here now, but we'll need more. The sheep all going over here. What else do we need to build? We need this one, which is like copper coil and machine parts. Once we have power, everything becomes a lot easier. But until then, we'll need to manage our resources and also our manpower to ensure that we don't overwhelm a certain industry and leave the rest neglected. Such as wood, for example. We should have planted the wood earlier. Need more wood storage. Yeah, these things are slowly running out just simply because we do not have anything over there. Oh, also these. These require wheat, so we need plant wheat. It's just wheat. And we'll need, I think, water to water the wheat. Or maybe automated... No, we don't have that. Can we import one? Do we have any money? No. We cannot even import one copper coil. Well, we can make one copper coil with this one. No, not this one. It has to be the standard one, right? Let's make one copper coil. We have some of those over there, so let's make one. Just one will do for now. Copper coil. So that we can make automatic sprinkler. Okay, there we go. Maybe one or two copper coils. Doesn't accept. Oh, okay, there you go. The fabric? Not yet. This is very important. I'm fine with them focusing on this one first. Mining. Not done yet. You see how a little bit of a mining job can really lead to huge impacts on our manpower. No one's working on these. But these are high priority now. Do we want that much bricks though? I'm not too sure, but we can afford to just stock up and then use up some of the clay. The bricks will be useful anyways, and we can even export the bricks if we want to. We can empty this space now. I mean like, okay, there's no more need for this space, so let's empty it and let the colonists bring everything over there. Now that we might have to use the space for something else. Fabric's not done yet. We should be able to trade fabric soon, but I want to complete tier 1 first. If possible, that is. Yeah, they're gonna just like send it over here and then... Let's uh, focus on this. Let's make this go to tier 3. Like, priority 3. And then lower these down to two, or maybe just remove some of the bricks ones. We need more space. This one high priority, please. 
Anyone growing the wheat? No, because no water. And these are slowly running out if we keep building. So we need to stop building. Yeah, sometimes they don't seem to want to prioritize certain work. Like, they just work on this one. Uh, this is fine. Okay, so we have tier 1. Good, finally. And we can go to here and get more people. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, these can help us buy one more. But for now, we only have one remaining. So, can someone please... Oh, okay, it's done. Finally. Do we have a sprinkler? Water sprinkler. Don't need these then. Good enough. With water, they can plant the wheat. And then it will be harvested for these things. Wheat is needed, so we can't help it. Let's get some more of those. We have enough space for stones. And we can expand to this side since there is like nothing else here already. Got some of these things we can use. And also we might be able to get another port here to sell some of the textile for some money. And we can use that to import something else. So build it there. Wooden parts missing. It's fine. We will get wooden parts soon as soon as these are ready. It's been good progress though, this episode. But we'll need these automations real soon. Power plant especially. So in the next episode, I think we're gonna focus on making the copper coil and other advanced parts. Also, copper tools. We're gonna replace these with copper tools. Yeah, most of them have tools already, so that's good enough. We get some more wheat here, and that's very useful. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, it's not this one. Fine. I was so worried. Yeah, we need wood. But do we need that much? I don't know. Depends. We might want to... Remove some of these. Okay, things are going quite well. It's more about waiting now though. Because like they're not doing much. We do have two idle people though. See, they were not making these things, and we're just needing to wait for these to get ready. Okay, so let's make this high priority. Especially the wooden part, this is real important. Okay, so it's now day 15 in the game. Since it's day 15, let's give them 3 in-game days to accumulate some other resources. And I'll see you back here in 3 days time, on day 18. Meanwhile, I'll speed up the waiting and maybe cut away some because it's just waiting. Okay, day 18. Don't have to slow down the game. <laughs> we spent time waiting. Why should we even slow the game down? Anyways, because these are low priority. Nothing's been made. 
But we can buy this land. These are ready for us. Oh, we need more wooden planks though. Why are we not making any wooden planks? Actually, we might need to give them more storage space. This one, I think that may be too much. That's why the wooden planks are not able to accumulate. Oh, okay, there's more. Let's buy this land too. That gives us a lot more colonists. 30 now. And we need to let them work. The new colonists especially. They need to be able to mine. Wait, let's see. Smart assignment. Wait, why? Why did... Uh, okay, whatever. Oh, this knows a lot. So you do everything. And you at least mining and crafting. This one, okay, good. This one, at least crafting, please. You can't do anything, at least craft. And maybe mining for you. <laughs> this is empty, but whatever. Hey, we have more. I'm supposed to end the episode, but oh well. Uh, we have uh, no more. <laughs> someone took the board away. Come on, someone, please make it again. Really? Oh, where are you going? Oh, to make charcoal? How many do we have now? Seven. Suddenly, it's only seven. That's fine. Once we accumulate some of these, it will be better. Yeah, I think that's it for this episode. We did quite a lot of things here, and we should stop exporting these now. We've got 129. That's not very good money, but that's still something. Alright, so in the next episode, hopefully, we can get started on automation. Hopefully. We'll need copper coil, we'll need machine parts, and we'll need a lot more manpower, which... won't be easy to get. Oh, you know what? Let's quickly go get one more of this land, since we have the resources. Oh, whoa, 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 even more. Oh, okay, no. The boards are not easy to accumulate. But now we have 32. The more manpower, the better. So in this episode, we have these all set up. The basics, everything ready for us. Oh, this is ready. This is ready. Bye, land. Awesome. Yeah, okay. We shouldn't export these anymore. <laughs> we just need this one again. <laughs> More boards, that will give us a lot of manpower. So in the next episode, we're gonna get the other land, okay? All right, I think that's a lot for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.